look, you know, I don't want to let this go by without actually touching on something that you mentioned there. Uh, Billy Jack Hayes in a in a holdout with police there uh, apparently seemed to have murdered his wife. Uh, allegedly, you know, we don't know all the facts yet. But uh, Jim, what can you tell us about being around Billy Jack? Billy Jack was, like I said, like nails. There's some guys in our business, their their eyes are like this, you know. I mean, and they're always, like, you know, not macho wound up, but they're always wound a little tight, and you always keep your eye on them. And I mean, nails. The same I felt about Bat, Matt Bourne and the uh, Mad Dog Bud Sawyer. I mean, it's it's a rough, rough business. And if you can't take care of yourself, you shouldn't be in, especially my generation. Now a different generation. You couldn't you, you get arrested if you assault somebody backstage, you know. And right. even the generation before that was wrestler's court, you know. Back in our day, it was like, can I talk to you in the shower, brother? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a different deal. And then when the fight ended, it, the situation ended. Like, that was the end of it. Because there wasn't a whole lot of fights because, I mean, everybody knew, you know, you're not going to go in there and beat somebody up. You know, like these guys, I beat up, I had five fights, I beat everybody's ass. Well, you never fought a man that knows how to fight. You right. fight another man that knows how to fight. You don't walk away clean, you know, okay. It came out okay. <laughs> no matter what, fighting, you know, a dude who's whatever, 6'4", 260, you're probably going to walk away with an injury. Oh, um, yeah. At the, at the least, your hands are going to swell up where you can't open a door. You can't turn a doorknob. I heard. Right. I don't know uh, firsthand. Well, no, of course. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's interesting because you're the son of a policeman. So I would guess that you'd see a guy like, like Nails or Billy Jack, and you probably recognize that kind of crazy, maybe a little bit off sort of look in their eyes where it's like, man, this guy maybe is not quite right. Well, you know, some people just did not. Of course, when my dad, you know, he worked his way up from a patrolman to chief of police 40 years in the police department. But when he was night captain, I was like, 13, 14 years old, I'd ride around with him. And my dad would uh, have, he'd be riding, he'd have a driver, and I'd be in the back seat, you know. Anytime they hook somebody up, they throw them in the back seat with me. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be coming, man, I'm like, man, man. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> well, you were a pretty big kid. I'm yeah. sure you were intimidating them. No, but then, you know, because I, I ride with the police, I I grew up in a police family, I enjoyed the coppers, you know, so I, I had to quit riding with them and, uh, when I was in Florida, because one officer would pick me up and we'd all meet in the parking lot, he goes, we got a hacksaw with us, and we'd all meet in the parking lot, They're like, let's go get one, I'm like, yeah, you don't have to get somebody in my account, fellas, what the hell are you for? <laughs> And sure enough, they hook somebody up, they throw him in the backseat of the police car. He'd be back there, son of a bitch. They, they. Hacksaw Duggan? <laughs> I'm a That's big fan of Hacksaw. Surreal. Get me out of it. I said, it don't work with me and the street, kid. It ain't going to work with you. 